Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Atlas SE with technology V6 front wheel drive. This particular one is tourmaline blue metallic on the exterior with the black wheel package. It features black, tight and black leatherette interior with a bench seat, keyless entry on all four doors, push button start, LED headlights, turn signals and reverse lights and tail lights. Also black roof rails, chrome window sills. That nice bold line down the side remains for 2022. Comes up into the, uh, over the wheel arches and into the headlights here. The headlights actually line up with the three rib design on the front grille. It's a, a manual passenger seat, a power driver's seat. With a power lift gate, remote start, faux exhaust tips at the base of the bumper underneath the oversized reflector there. New Volkswagen logo right there. And then also, it says Atlas right here and SEV6 off to the side. Let's take a look inside. And this car is not PDI'd yet, so that's why you have this protective bumper on the door. Still have the badge right here, the barcode from the factory, and this uh, plastic or wax film on the hood as a protectant. So it's going to look a little weird, but I promise you, the car will look great. This, there's more of that protectant right here around the door handle. And as we open it up here, you're going to see some dash lights on. Uh, the scuff plate is actually covered up with protective plastic there. But here's a look at the seats. And I'm making this video because this car will be sold before I can make a video of it once it's PDI'd. Uh, we already have someone coming up to look at it, and it's not my customer. So I wanted to make a video of it before it was gone. Contrast stitching right here in the bolster, up the side here, and in the headrest here. Also on the edge of the armrest right there, and if you look over to the door here, quartzite gray right here with that contrast stitch again, the premium stitch right there, and the arm pad right here. The one touch up, one touch down, the same old standard for all Volkswagens. Heated mirrors right here, even though the heated icon's not here, it's integrated into your rear defrost button right there. Power lift gate right here. And as we look inside here, one of the first things that's going to jump out at you is this digital cockpit. Now, this is not the standard digital cockpit for the SE Tech. Due to supply shortages, supply chain shortages, uh, chip shortages, whichever you want to call it, um, you buy, uh, as a bonus, get this uh, digital cockpit pro minus navigation. It won't have navigation, but it has the display the same otherwise. Uh, you do also have automatic headlights. Uh, all weather lights as well. And then you have that coin box for storage there, the flat bottom leather wrap steering wheel, which is telescoping so I can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it where I want. Um, then I do also have still that three spokes de the design on the steering wheel here with the splash of piano black right here, that new Volkswagen logo in the middle, my cruise controls here, my assist systems uh, for travel assist and what have you are right here. Uh, and then on the tip, actually this one doesn't have it, it's all right here. Um, volume controls right here and then you also have song skip and preset skip right here uh, over here on the radio it's an MIB3 radio you'll have that hand that pops up when it's looking for something there and then I can actually swipe my hand in front of it I should have stopped at the first one but I got it to go and there's a sensor somewhere in there it's down here in this area here and uh, never get it successfully with one swipe uh, there's a storage bin up here that's been around for the Atlas the whole time uh, since 2018 this edgeless auto dimming mirror up here now with this this is the home link mirror connect uh, Right here subscription is built into that three buttons right here for garage door and a Bluetooth button here digital compass right there um, You do have a vanity mirror above each driver and passenger here with an LED light very nice right there wood grain and uh, on the dash right here now this is a lot more believable than it used to be here. This looks more like real wood grain here, very nice. Now if you get an R line, it won't have that, but uh, the regular uh, lineup, you will get that wood grain. It continues over here into the door, silver flat finish around the, the door handle and what have you right there, the speaker. In the glove box right here, your manuals will be in here too, but this one's not PDI'd, so it's still in a bag in the back, in the back hatch, uh, but it will be in this glove box here. And here's your tire warranties right here four SD card holders right there. The radio does have a backup camera, pretty nice one as, as well. 
it's HD and uh, you have trajectory steering with that so I can turn the wheel left, turn the wheel right and the yellow line is going to move accordingly. Up here on the dash, yeah, I've got a fuel light, an EPC light, all that stuff because the car is not PDI'd yet uh, and the little triangle right here. Here is your temperature gauge over here, fuel gauge is over here, um, climate control, you have heated seats. They start on high, then medium, then low, then off, and you have uh, dual zone climate zone up front with a third zone in the back, so it's tri-zone overall. And the menu button allows you to bring that up on the screen here. You can turn the system on, um, and then um, turn up the temperature and bring this fan speed down. So I can do that all right here. I do also have air care. Air care is my air, air filtration system, so it will actually scrub the air and um, uh, actually f filter out per pollutants and allergens and things of that nature before circulating in a cabin. So very nice there. Uh, uh, power knob right here, tuning knob over here. You do also have your sound set up here. So you've got an EQ and things here that you can change the position of the speaker. So you can move that around, do the bullseye there or do the EQ and move it around. Um, AM, FM and satellite radio. Two USB-C connections right here with wireless charging here. A three prong, I'm sorry, um, 12 volt charger port right there. Uh, you do also have a park pilot button right here, which also brings up the rear view camera on demand as long as you're stationary and you can turn the wheel left or right. And what that button also does is turn off the beeping if you're, if you're close to a retaining wall or maybe a curb or you're going through a car wash and uh, it's triggering the sensors at the front or the rear of the car. Electronic parking brake is right there, so you just lift up on that guy to activate, put your foot on the brake, and push down to release. Um, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are going to be standard on the car. So uh, just by doing your Bluetooth setup, you'll get prompted for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Um, in this storage bin right here, this armrest, there's another USB-C right there. So you have three up front. Lots of storage in here for maybe a medium-sized purse. But the big deal here is... Um, heated seats you have those manual headrest right there very nice there's a look at the inset over there this seat is manual so you have this loop here to lift up on and slide the seat forward and back and then over here on the side that handle right there adjusts the seat pitch or the seat back pitch uh, but that seat does not raise or lower storage bin over there on that side as well and let's take a look at this metal row now this car does have an option for a sunroof it is this trim level. This one does not have it, obviously. This one comes in at $41,935. Extras on this one are going to include $595 for the black wheel package. Um, three, six, I'm sorry, $355 for the auto dimming home link mirror with home link connect, a four-year subscription. Uh, and then also $310 for the monster mats for the bench seat and roadside assistance kit for $85, bringing you to that $41,935. And here, here's a look at the inset for the back door as well. That premium stitch continues right there, that contrast stitch, and then the armrest right here, or arm pad, is also that quartzite gray window button right here. There are no door locks back here, so you don't have anything for the kids to flip and accidentally open a the door. There are also child locks on the doors. Sunscreen built in right here, so you can raise and lower these guys on the two rear doors. Here's a look at the seat. It's a 60-40 split. So there's an armrest, fold down right there, squishy yet firm, 60-40. And then you have three sets of car seat hookups. Those there, this one here, and then this one here. So you can have three car seats in this row. This handle right here is a two-way switch, so I can lift up on this guy. The seat pitches forward, the bottom drops out, car seats remain attached as long as they're forward facing or boosters. Steel reinforced back on the seat here. So this seat, in the event of a crash, anything that's stored back there with the seats down, those seats will stop it. They're also steel reinforced, but if these seats are folded down, you have cargo back here. This is steel reinforced, so in the event something back there in a the rear impact comes forward, it does not injure someone in this seat. This button right here, you lift up one, fold that seat back. There's a bar underneath. You lift up, squeeze the seat, squeeze the handle, and uh, push it back. Climate controls right here. I'm going to show you in my leg room here ridiculous amounts of leg room here. I have easily 12 inches of knee space right here where I'm sitting and I was just in that seat. Magazine pocket right here. There's your vents right there and your climate control setup right here. You can do fan speed, temperature of course. We can make it a little warmer here. Down below two USB-C connections there and a three-prong plug-in right there as well. 
Here's a look through over the armrest, up to the center console, and up to the instrument cluster there. And dome light right there. Lots of space, and then no seats back there. Um, notice how high off the ground the seat sits, so your knees aren't in your chest. It's a more comfortable seat for even someone six foot four. So let's take a look again here. Seats sit high off the floor, so your knees are more perpendicular to the floor instead of up in your chest. Those headrests flick up with the flick of a wrist there. Uh, seat belt clips there as well. And also, there's gonna be a USB-C there. I'm gonna move this seat back again. Let's take a look at the rear hatch. There's the wheels there. The center caps are missing because again, the car is not PDI'd. Those will all be covered up and there's black plastic caps for the lug nuts there as well. Come back here in between the T and the L, it's a button to lift up on the hatch. It's a powered lift gate. And here's a look through from the back to the front. True seven seater. There's a look at this two front seats there, three seats in the middle, steel reinforced backs, and then the two in the back, steel reinforced backs. C pillar vent here, and also here. Here's your monster match right here, roadside assistance kit, and cargo blocks right here. Cargo containment system right here with the carpet, and beneath the floor there, there's all the goodies with the manual and what have you there. And underneath that guy right there, this carpeted floor comes out, you unscrew that guy right there, and your spare tire's right there, and there's a look at your jack apparatus. Again, this car is not PDI'd, so it's not ready to go yet. Bag hook over here on this side, trunk light right there, and also over here, 12 volt charger port right there, two more USB-Cs right there. So you have seven USB-Cs in a car, 17 cup holders. Very nice. There's a look at that power lift gate, just push the button and it closes. This one does also have a tow hitch right here. If you look at the tow hitch there, it has the seven pin adapter already attached, ready to go. Underneath that oversized reflector. This car will come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That's four years, 50,000 miles. It includes two years of free maintenance. So your 10 and 20,000 mile oil change are covered by Volkswagen. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, we're gonna give you a third year of free maintenance as well. So your 10, 20, and 30,000 mile oil changes are covered. And if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, we'll also give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000 miles nationwide. If you're interested in this car, give me a call, 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.